What does it mean when they say the embassy is sending my case back to USCIS? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. In this video, we're talking about overseas visa cases. We're talking about situations where a US citizen or a lawful permanent resident has filed an I-130 petition for a family member overseas. And the case has been approved by USCIS. It has been processed through the National Visa Center and it has now been sent to the embassy for an interview. And then the case is usually sitting for quite some time. And then either because of a lawsuit or for some other reason, the State Department is prepared to issue a final decision or at least an interim final decision. And um, what they decide to do is to um, deny the visa at that time, to refuse the visa, and to send it back to USCIS for possible revocation. So. You can't ever forget that when you're going through the overseas visa process that you're dealing with two agencies. You start with USCIS and then you go to the State Department and USCIS handles the I-130 and that is them deciding whether or not this is a valid marriage and then the State Department handles whether the person is admissible and is going to receive a visa. So sometimes these agencies sort of come into conflict and USCIS will say this was a valid marriage and the State Department says eh, we're not so sure. So when that happens, your case sits at the embassy for a while, and then eventually they send it back through this process of possible revocation. And so when that happens, it's a real bummer. And obviously you're sad because your case has been delayed, but really the, 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 the hard thing is, is that once you go into that sort of area between the embassy and sending it back to USCIS, is it really, really, really slows down your case. It can take them a year, literally one year, to send the case back to USCIS. Um, it's part of their program of delay. It's sort of baked into the system. It's what they do with cases that they don't really like. And they'll send it back to USCIS. Now, in our firm, we've had this happen a lot lately, especially after lawsuits. So in some of our lawsuit cases, um, the reason the cases have been delayed is because there's something wrong with it, or at least from the State Department's perspective, there's something wrong with it. So what they do is they send it back to USCIS and they say, hey, we don't think this thing is valid. You need to look at this again. So we've been hired many times to respond to what USCIS does, which is called a notice of intent to revoke. So if you get USCIS moving, if the case makes its way back to USCIS, they'll send a notice that looks sort of like a request for evidence and it'll say, hey, we're thinking about revoking this I-130 that we approved before. Can you reconvince us? Can you show us again why this is a valid marriage? And so after we file a lawsuit, sometimes this happens and then clients have been hiring us to help with these and we've gotten those all approved. Um, but you're gonna have to sort of re-approve uh, the marriage and you're gonna have to get USCIS to recertify the prior grant of the approval of the I-130 and then they send it back to the embassy. So this, like I said, is a huge hassle, but this is one of those other ways that lawsuits can help because what happens is if you don't have a lawsuit on file, if you don't have deadlines and a judge looking over it, then you're gonna lose a year going back to USCIS and then you're gonna lose another year going back to the embassy. So when you have a lawsuit on file, that condenses all, that thing, all those things. So um, obviously the lawsuit's no guarantee that your case is gonna be approved, but it is gonna squeeze that time. You know, I always say that the lawsuits are like a time machine or a fast forward button. And that's especially true when uh, the State Department is asking USCIS to consider revoking the I-130. Um, so when you get a notice of intent to revoke, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have to reprove the marriage. If you have questions about this, give us a call at 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. And if you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social and that you subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube channel so that you get updates whenever we make videos just like this one. Thanks a lot. Oh, and be sure to check us out on Instagram, Hacking Law Practice LLC. Thanks a lot.